Oh, okay, go on. Oh, oh, Give okay. me some, come on. Round the whole thing. Round the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see that? Break up my tunnel. <laughs> So today's the day I'm finally leaving to go Snowdonia National Park. The reason I'm going to Snowdonia National Park is because I'm mainly going to climb Mount Snowdon. This year I, I'm going to climb Snowdon, Scaffold Pike and Ben Nevis. And I'm just going to start off with Snowdon just purely because I want to go cruise around Snowdonia National Park. So I'm going to take the van up with me. I've got a six hour drive ahead of me just to get there first. Um, and obviously you guys are coming with me. so. Let's go. Woo. So there's a few reasons as to why I'm doing uh, the three mountains this year. And I'll speak a little bit more about that later on in the vlog. Um, and you guys also haven't seen what the van's looking like as of, just purely because I've been quite slack and there's still bits and bobs missing from for vlog two and three of the van build. So. I don't know if I'm going to show you too much of the van just because I'd rather you wait until the vlogs or wait until it's finished because it is still in bits at the moment. But yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Yo! Right, what's the time? 20 to 1, and he's here pumping a little bed, look. Fucking needs must. <laughs> there you go. Done. <laughs> Done deal. <laughs> Fucking tired. <laughs> okay, so it's five past one. Finally made it. Um, real long drive. I think we left at like 4.30 in the end. So, or well, five. About five, 5.30. Five o'clock. Um, and we've been here for about 20 minutes now that we've set up, pulled up by a lay by. Uh, Mount Snowden is literally just there, so in the morning I'll show you the views as well. Um, but yeah, so we made it and just gonna set up shop for the night. Gonna wake up in about five hours, get ourselves straight over to um, the car park, have a coffee, and then we're gonna aim to start the hike at about seven ish in the morning. So it's exciting times, we've made it, and yeah, time to get like six hours kit. So, see you in the morning. Woo. So, 6.30, we are planning on Climbing Snowden in about half an hour after a coffee, but definitely need one. Looking out the window, though, the weather looks way worse than what is predicted. Maybe sunny with a bit of cloud, whereas it's raining. So I think we might assess it just to see what's going to happen over the next half hour, 40 minutes. But realistically, we don't want to climb it if it's raining. Because we're not going to see anything. <sighs> Alright, so we've made it to the bottom of Snowden, the Snowden car park. Um, weather is going to get a little bit better over the next uh, few hours, which is perfect timing really, because on our climb, by the time we get to around cloud line, um, sun should come out, hopefully. So... We're here, boys are here, um, got a set up just sorting ourselves out, having a feed, having a coffee, and then we're going to go. Obviously you guys come with me, I'm going to vlog the whole journey. Um, I was vlogging on the GoPro from the start to up until now, uh, and I might keep jumping between camera and um, GoPro, just purely because the GoPro is so much easier. 
it's easy to vlog, it's just point and shoot, whereas the camera is one, heavier, two, I'm gonna be using it for photos and stuff, um, and I just haven't really got the right camera set up for vlogging, so GoPro is just easy. Um, but I'll just show you what the boys are up to, and then we're gonna go. Yo! So Matt's got his munchies out, got our coffees. Koa. Hey! Be careful of the camera. <laughs> got Tom, Matt, Koa, and me. What's the snacks? Snacks. Some good eating. Snacks. Snacks. The Snowden is somewhere up there. Jumping back on the GoPro to vlog just purely because I've got my camera here for photos um, and the safety strap, I'll show you, doesn't give me enough reach to fix the camera. So, the camera's gonna be there for my photos for the whole journey up. GoPro's gonna be my vlogger. I've got my, I think it's about 12 kilo bag with all my camera gear in it, drones coming, um, my 7200 lens and just everything so but just the boys are just finishing getting ready oh yes and we are set gonna wing it back yeah. so just pulled up to what 10 minutes into our walk and we just found a really cool little waterfall over there you probably can't see it in the distance but let me get the drone up quickly, just get a few cool aerial shots, get a few shots of the boys walking and then carry on because we're 10 minutes in and I'm stopping already. From what we could see, the views were endless, but it wasn't long until we got ourselves into the cloud. And well, yeah, the views somewhat yeah. disappeared. How beautiful is these views? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Regardless, we continued to climb and get ourselves to the top in the hope the clouds would lift. Blue sky, first time today. So literally like about 100 meters away from the top now. You can see absolutely nothing. Jack. Absolute jack shit. We're blowing our asses off. They're not. But we're nearly there. <laughs> Tom's cheating because he's got a dog. <laughs> and he's um, going to run back down. So yeah, so, so close. Thing. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, see that. Right, go back down now. <laughs> Made it to the top. Can't see a thing. Weather is gonna get a little bit better over the next uh, few hours. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, we didn't get the clear summit like we expected, and the crowds started to gather on the summit. Regardless, we had just climbed the second highest peak in the UK and the highest in Wales. It just goes to show you can't thing. predict oh, mountain good. weather. Yeah. Come to Snowdonia, you can see so much. So we've managed to drop down below the clouds and I think we're going to be below the clouds now for the rest of the day, which is epic. We've come to some really cool spots if you look on this side. And over that side, we've got the lakes. Just managed to fly the drone and get some cool shots here as well, so obviously I'll roll them right now. The 
boys and their toys had some fun, but it was time to start making our way back down to the bottom, knowing full well we still had some incredible spots ahead of us. Just a heads up, these are mountains remember, so sometimes it was a scrabble to get down. The commitment to a photo, get on! Oh yeah! Arm movement and all! <laughs> Hey! 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 <laughs> so, we're below the clouds now, way below the clouds. That snowed in there. So we climbed up this way, all the way up there. We came down this way, all the way down here. So we're now flat path. So, just cruising back now. A few plunge pools over there, which is going to be pretty refreshing. Might dip my toes and my head and all that in. And uh, just, yeah, cool myself off because I'm absolutely soaking. Can't believe I'm even vlogging and putting myself in front of a camera looking like this. But worth it all like nonetheless. Been a sick day. I think it's about four o'clock now, around four. We've just been cruising around. Stopped up a few of the peaks up there. Took some cool photos. You can see some people up there now actually, that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go to the plunges, take some more photos because we were completely under the cloud pretty much at the plunges, whereas now we can see everything. So, yeah, sick, that's it. <laughs> These plunges look so sick and exactly what we needed after this walk. My feet, my shoulders, everything's just absolutely battered. So, I'm gonna get in in a minute, gonna fly the drone. Up on these waterfalls, there's a little castle there, or an old castle, whatever it was. I'm gonna fly the drone in and around there as well. So yeah, gonna fly the drone around, get some really cool aerial shots. Um, seems as earlier we were just rushing up to get to Snowden, and now we just have the time to sit, chill, take it all in, really. It's gonna be sick. Let's roll it. man um, literally just finished flying the drone I'm gonna get in the water I think and then it's just literally the last stretch back to the vehicle so I'll see you back at the cars you all right so we finally made it back to the van I sat down for like 20 minutes 25 minutes and just chilled my feet are absolutely killing me so just said bye to Tom and Tari, which is a couple we just met along the way. They were sound, lovely couple. Um, and now we're just gonna head to the campsite um, and just chill out, get a set up, sort ourselves out, have a feed. And then, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what's gonna happen. I want, I'd like to get the drone up. Hopefully we have a nice sunset. Where we're staying is lovely. So yeah, I'll see you at the campsite. Apologies for not vlogging much when we got to the campsite. Um, literally, we just got here, got ourselves set up, had a few beers, had a feed, um, and then we uh, just chilled around the fire. So the sunset was all right. Uh, I did go out and drone, but um, there was loads of helicopters in and around. So I literally had the drone up for like a half a minute, if that, and then I landed due to low helicopters and stuff like that so always following the regulations which is obviously the biggest and safest thing um, 
I can fly in and around where we are, but obviously there's always um, like emergency helicopters and stuff flying around. So just decided to just chill out last night instead. Um, and then, yeah, get back to it today um, and just assess the day. feel good to get back out again and start exploring and doing stuff for myself just purely because at home most of the time all the stuff that I'm doing in terms of filmmaking is for business so video promotions photography stuff like that so it's quite nice to be able to get away again obviously after everything that happened all last year in terms of COVID and whatnot I just start creating stuff for myself because um, you know I don't really have the time to do it at home anymore or once I finish work and I'm, you know, with my social lifestyle or whatever, it's quite hard to find the time to go out and create stuff for myself. So that's one of the reasons as to why me, Matt and Tom came up here to North Wales, because it is absolutely stunning. I've never been, and it's nice just to get out and start creating stuff for myself. Hence why I'm creating the vlog, I've got the drone, I've got the camera, I've got everything all going at the same time. Um, try my best to vlog as much as I can. Last night we were absolutely knackered. Um, after climbing Snowdonia. We were up there for like eight hours in the end. So um, today is just more like cruising around and just finding some cool spots. We've got so many dotted on a map, um, which is epic. Thank you to everyone that's recommended me loads of spots as well. So that's what today's gonna consist of and just get some epic clips for Instagram, YouTube, and you guys really. Matt's gonna go for a paddle. I'm gonna go for a swim. And I can't bloody wait. Seems as uh, we are in such a sick spot. I'm gonna roll a sick little B-roll sequence of us just doing our thing. So let's roll it. <laughs> Me and Matt have just finished having a swim and a paddle in this absolutely stunning lake. Managed to get a few cool shots, managed to get the drone up. I've only got 70% battery on that drone, so I'm just trying to save it because we are going to go to some epic spots in a minute. But well chuffed with that, well needed a swim. Three boys have kitted me out as well with some nice teas, managed to get some nice shots with that. So we're just going to carry on, going to go to a nice little massive waterfall. Um, and then carry on our journey towards the coast. So I am buzzing. Okay, so we made it to the Waterfalls car park, Abba Falls. Me and Matt are just gonna hike, probably about 30 minutes, and then get to the waterfall. Got the tripod for long exposure, because this is where it comes in beautifully. And then uh, we're gonna head on to, oh, you know, our camp spot for tonight. So see you soon. <laughs> Bit of a blue sky coming up here, but still pretty foggy all along the uh, hill.
Okay, day four. Um, by the time we got here last night, it was a bit too dark to vlog, and all me and Matt did was have a little nosy through the footage, had a beer, went to bed. Actually, knackered. Um, but yeah, day four, Saturday morning, last day today. We're just gonna go mooch around. There's a few nice castles, and there's a few more drone shots I've got in mind with my 40% battery. So it's gonna go snap them, and basically just cruise back home. So, man, if you guys have never been to North Wales, you need to get yourself to North Wales ASAP. So we made it to the castle. Don't know if you can see it very well in the distance. It is a massive castle. Water's so still. This is tidal. Tide's out at the minute, so it does look a little bit shit. But that's the castle there. A few people out on a boat as well. Me and Matt have just pulled up here to Take a few photos and have a feed. How much to drink it? <laughs> I feel like now might be a good time to tell you as to why I've gone on this trip. And there is so many reasons as to why. One of the first and main reasons why I've climbed Snowdon is me and Matty used to say that we wanted to climb mountains together. And we climbed Mount Butter in Bali with Nelly, and that was absolutely incredible. Honestly, that, that's what I think kind of gave us the idea. Now we were talking about mountains in Japan and, you know, something that I definitely couldn't do now. But it was a goal that we really wanted to try and hit together. Now, unfortunately, obviously, Matty isn't with us anymore, but I still want to keep that legacy and promise going. Um, so I've, that's why I've set myself the three peaks this year. Um, obviously, I've done Snowden now. You guys have seen me climb it. I'm going to do Scaffold Pike in a few weeks, and then Ben Nevis is going to be the one in the end of August. That's the three peaks. Uh, and it's just something that, I've, you know, a promise that I've, I've made for myself to keep that going because it's something that he's always wanted to do. Now I've got a few uh, little surprises lined up for Scaffold Pike and Ben Nevis in terms of keeping Matty's memory alive and obviously you guys are going to see it because I'll be vlogging those journeys too. But that is the main reason as to why I've came on this trip to climb Snowdon. Now obviously I've got the van and I've made the most out of that situation in terms of really exploring. I've done the hot I've done parts of Snowdonia National Park and I've gone up to the north coast and there's still so much I want to do so I will be back. Um, so that's the second reason really is to test out the van on its real first big outing. There is a few other reasons obviously exploring more and not realistically not really going to go away abroad this year so trying to explore as much of the UK as possible because I've lived here my whole life bar when I was traveling and I haven't really seen much of it. But enough of the, uh, you know, that talk and telling you as to why I'm here. I'm going to show you why I'm here because the views are in amazing. six hours we can only cruise at around 60 because Matt's camper will only sit really at 60 so we're looking at between like seven or eight hours with a stop I reckon but yeah so that is it in terms of the adventure should be back late tonight aiming probably for around nine or ten o'clock I reckon so unless anything magical happens 
us on the way or if we stop anywhere else obviously I'll bring you guys along but that's gonna be it that is it in terms of the Welsh Wales adventure so thank you so much for watching guys um, you don't have to but subscribe I'm gonna be doing a lot more vlogs I've got obviously more of the van vlogs coming out as well so uh, yeah subscribe and ring the bell if you want to watch them give it a like tap in a little comment whether you did or didn't like it tell me if you didn't like it tell me why always looking for ways to improve but yeah in terms of that i'll see you next time Yo!